guys! Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Erin Condren Horizontal Planner in Horizontal Gold. So that's very exciting. It's my husband's planner. Um, he's not filled in very much yet. I had a little go at playing around on one of the past pages here. Um, and I thought what I'd do is I'd actually just use one of the past weeks to show you what I would do if I was using a horizontal. I'm just gonna double check that we're in shot. There we go, we are. Okay, good. Um, so first things first, being a horizontal, you have different spaces from our vertical planner. Um, we have got this section in which we can write here that is lined, and we have got a box here. Now, I'm someone who likes to sort of make to-do lists in my day, um, so that's probably what I would use this for, and then I'd use this section for things with specific times. Um, or if there was a specific event happening. I feel like the horizontal lends itself to a more professional um, sort of setup and look. So I would probably keep it a little bit less colorful, I guess. Well, like, not colorful, um, flamboyant as my other ones. I love the color scheme in this. It's super pretty. I love the idea of it just being sort of one color in two different shades across the board. I think the horizontal is prettier looking, Not maybe it's actually just because of that, because of the color system, um, but I think it's prettier, yeah, it's just pretty. Anyway, so, first things first, um, I would use thin washi like this, which you could get really cheaply on Amazon. I think I bought 10 thin washi for like two pounds, which is like the equivalent of... Um, four dollars maybe just under four dollars um american dollars so you could buy like 10 for really cheap in different colors we've got i would tear that there okay so let's say it was someone's birthday or there was an event or like a holiday i know that they write in holidays let's find the fourth of july where's that oh, right there so they write in holidays up there um but let's say it's like because it's my husband's planner all right mom and dad Anniversary. Okay, so I'd probably write down big things like that um, with some washi. And then beneath it, I would write down like um, 8 o'clock pick up cake. I know there are no bakeries. Well, are there bakeries open at 8? I guess they have to open early sometimes, right? So 8 o'clock pick up cake. Um, 10 set up and then if I had specific phone calls to make in that day um, I might add them here so like Julie um, Matt okay cool um, and then in this section I would probably make a to-do list you can add a sticker if it's a very special occasion so just for um, example purposes, I will grab my scissors and cut out a balloon. Okay, so I cut out my balloon sticker. Hope I'll be able to peel the back. Okay. Um, and then I put sort of important things that I had stickers for in the side of the day. Okay. Um, if it was a normal day, like we had... Uh, a class, I'd probably again put 9.45, Millie, and then put Gundog. I think I'd probably be more into using stamps on this particular um, shaped day. But, let's see, do I have any tiny dog stickers? I suppose if it was just a Millie. <laughs> Um, let's try it. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I might go so far as to using that, but I just feel like I want to keep this section for writing because of the lines. I know that's really bizarre. I've, I've seen a few people actually um, divide their days, and I've not tried that yet, but I just feel like if I was using a horizontal, that would kind of do... The, 
injustice to the fact that you can write across the board. Now the reason why I picked a horizontal for my husband is because um, he's probably not likely to spend as much time as me with his planner at all, um, let alone decorating it. And I thought this is just a really simple thing, he could just write into it. He doesn't have to worry about like blank spaces or anything because there are no blank spaces. Um, to make it look empty and unused. That was my really sad attempt <laughs> at creating a divider there. So yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. I just don't see the point of it. And then I'd do like to-dos and then perhaps put a bit of washi down this side. Oh, throw it back in the jar. And there's something about this horizontal that just I can't lay down. Um, eh, okay, still getting used to this tearing thing. I just can't lay down while she's straight in here. And I've got my big orange darn clumping box here as well, so it's in the way. Yeah, so I'd probably do that and then like make a little to-do list. Wash, clean, call, and then you could put people here. So yeah, I'd probably make that a to-do list and put this for a specific time, appointments, etc. Um, that's basically it, really. This note section down here, I don't have any clue what I'd use it for. Perhaps if there were things that I didn't get done today, I'd put like rescheduled for next week and then put down the things here. I have some handy stickers, um, arrow stickers that a friend of mine did. Oh, did? She sent them to me. My brain! From Germany! So, thank you, Anna, for these lovely stickers. Um, if something didn't really work, I'd probably like decide I'm just going to put it down like that. Um, so that it could show that it's moving down <laughs> the days. You could probably take it. I don't know if these are repositionable. I feel like most stickers are if you fill them up quickly or not. This one's not. It's evil. Never mind. Yeah. Um, or I'd put it to the side. I'd use these guys as well. Let's say um, if I had a specific phone number to call. I do this in my vertical planner. These tiny post-its fit really well in the boxes. They're brilliant. I definitely recommend them for the vertical. Horizontal is a little different in terms of shape, um, but they're very handy and you could just write like personal information. So if I do like 9974652, okay. As a phone number, that is probably someone's number. Um, just don't call it, I guess, because I'm making it up. Um, so there you go. So you could have something very specific written on there that you want to take out of, you don't necessarily want to keep in your planner forever, you could just remove it, so that's good. I have some label stickers that I thought I'd try using in this as well. Just take a look at the possibilities of stuff. So I thought label stickers could be quite nice just to jazz up a section of the planner. Perhaps if you wanted to specifically mark down like your weight loss goals or um, if something exciting was happening that week, you might decide to go ahead and pop this up here. And then with like a Sharpie, which you don't have nearby me, so I'm gonna have to go get it. Okay, so with the Sharpie, I'd probably put down like, um, last week of school, which could look quite cool as well. I used to use horizontal planners at school, actually, that triggers my memory. Um, for different classes and appointments and homework and stuff. 
if you were using this for a school situation, I think it would lend itself really well. So you could, what you could do is in here, you could put like after school activities or you could put down like homework that needs to be done for tomorrow. So like do tomorrow. Um, and then here you could put like eight till three school, obviously. And then you might put down like specific classes that might be running or if there's a fundraiser. I can't spell, so if I spell that incorrectly, like ignore me. Um, so you could put a fundraiser, um, lunch room. Okay. Um, so you could do math, English, and science. And then maybe you have basketball between four and six. So, so basketball practice, and then maybe you're meeting with your friends for a movie at 8.30. So that sort of thing. Um, you could also, okay, split this section. No. Let's say you've got, again, eight till three school. You could put down your specific timetable here if you wanted to. I don't think it's really necessary because usually they give you a separate timetable, but, and I would actually make that into a sort of like clip thing. So I'd clip it into my week with maybe an Erin Condren coil clip. So we've got school, so you might have um, meeting, maybe like the school production, you could put a picture in there. Um, and you might have to do like, so home. So you might have to do like laundry or walk dog. If you're a teenager, shower. <laughs> um, and then you can put your homework assignments here. So to, I was always the sort of person that would do homework the day before. So homework tomorrow and then you could be like next week or whatever. Um, and you can just write down your homework assignments and you could leave more room or less room for that. So yeah, that's what I would do generally for the horizontal. I love how creative you guys are. It's amazing. I don't think I personally would stick a lot of stickers in there. Um, I will show you a sneak peek of what my husband did. I might need to cover. It's his very first layout, so don't judge him. I'll just cover his this little section here. Cool. There we go. Um, so you guys should be able to see. Isn't that exciting? So he put a whole bunch of stickers in there. Um, he likes the idea <laughs> of stickers. Like I said, he's a younger brother. Not my younger brother, but he does act like a younger brother. So basically everything I have, he needs to have as well. <laughs> um, hence the Erin Condren and the stickers. So he wanted some stickers and he put a sticker in for everything. Now it didn't all fit, you see, um, and it's a little bit scrunched. So I pro personally would probably refrain from doing that and just put in his appointments that had times and then put the to-dos here. That's what I would do. But it's exciting, isn't that cute? Yay, he's learning. So yeah, that's how I would set up my um, week if I had a horizontal. I did play a little bit here with the stickers. These stickers, I use the Manny Petty because he's not going to use the Manny Petty stickers and I never get manicure pedicures, so I probably won't use them either. Um, but they fit, I'll get another one out. They fit perfectly in these boxes, okay. Well, I say that and then it doesn't, that's hilarious. Come on, come on. Yesterday, I thought it did. Okay, so it does fit perfectly. I'm just, I can't stick things down apparently. So they fit perfectly in the boxes there. You can see I practiced putting some washi tape across the top with like the days of the schools that he was gonna work at on certain days. It was just a test, so those aren't the actual days he works there. Um, I put in a sticker here that I bought. I will put down the shop down below. Um, and I put like call mom and then put a random phone number in. And then we had like to-do list here. This is 
what I was talking about, you know, doing specifics and stuff. And again, putting random stuff in. It's all just kind of made up things. And I cut out this washi here, <laughs> which I printed on my computer because I don't have grass washi. Um, and a lovely viewer has said that she's going to send me some, so I'm so excited. I also practiced putting in a corner sticker here because I thought that might be cute if it was someone's birthday or something. Instead of filling up your boxes because life does go on and sometimes you have to prepare for birthdays, you might put like Sam B Day. Yay! Or game day or something exciting like that in the corner and it wouldn't take up too much space. So I think that sort of use of a sticker is good. Using stickers um, in here looks good. I like the idea of putting a plain sticker in here and then writing what I need to. Something exciting was, was happening that day as well. So yeah, that's basically what I would do if it was my planner, how I would decorate it. Right, I hope you found this helpful to those of you wondering what you might do with yours and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.